So what are you doing today? Nothing much. Well, maybe you should catch up on a bit of homework. Don't want you copying Candice again. Mum, it was a once-off, and that's because Beth kept me up all night. I'm not going to make a habit out of it. But you're making a habit of lying to me. You didn't copy Candice at all. What are you on about? Charlie told me. You were covering up for her. Then why didn't you just say that instead of trying to trick I me? I wasn't trying to trick you. I was hoping you'd tell me the truth of your own accord. Well, I don't know what the big deal is. It's just a detention. The big deal is, after all we've been through, you're still lying to me. Now, I hope you'll tell me the truth. Why are you covering for Candice? I can't tell you. I'm going to the shop. That's for you to answer, not me. Mum, can I not have any privacy? You've got no right. I've you've... got every right when I'm concerned what you might be up to. Please, Sarah, tell me this isn't what I think it is. Yes, and I'm a thief as well as a liar. These are all brand new. What do you expect me to think? I'm just looking after them for Candice. Well, if the Candice is, what are they doing here? And where did she get them from? She can't afford all this. Well, she's my mate. I didn't ask. Oh, come on, Sarah, you're not stupid. Mum, I promise you, I've not done anything wrong. Candice, she just asked me to look after them for her, and I did. I can get her to come and pick them up if it's such a bother. You can't expect me to turn a blind eye to this. Well, I'll ring Candice's mother. Maybe oh, she no, Mum, please. OK, well, then you tell me, and I won't have to ring her. And you leave me no choice. Thanks for coming. Let's just get this sorted. I'm supposed to be at work. What do you have to go open in your mouth for? I didn't have any choice. Whatever. Apparently, these are Candice's clothes. As you can see, there's rather a lot of them. <clears throat> Hang on a minute. We don't know for certain that they are hers. We've only got your daughter's word for it. Well, do they belong to you? Come on, I haven't got time to mess about. Are they yours or not? No, never seen them before in my life. Candice! Oh, I might have known. So now's the time to tell the truth, Sarah. Well, she hasn't exactly got a good track record in that department. You promised me we'd always be honest with each other. I wasn't lying. They are hers. Oh, yeah, and where did she get the money for them from? She got a night job working in a factory. Are you determined to drive me to an early grave or something? Look, all I was doing was packing Christmas decorations into stupid little boxes. What the hell did you think you were playing at? What if something had happened to you? I want to know where you were. I can look after myself, you know. You are 15 years old. You should be concentrating on school and getting your exams. What, like you did, you mean? Right, that's enough. Get home. Oh, thanks a lot, mate. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Yeah, I'll bet. Come on. When you go sticking your nose in. Yes, well, I'm glad I did. Have you been working at this factory as well? Oh, yeah, of course I have, Mum. In fact, I should own up to everything. I smoke, I drink, I have sex. I have such a great life. It's no wonder everyone at school is jealous Shh, of me. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's you. Uh, hiya. I'm going to make sure that everyone in school knows you're a grass. What you open your big cup for? Well, why did you make out I was a liar in front of everyone? You would have just stood there let me take the blade, even though I'd already copped it for you and Mrs Ramsden. Yeah, well, if you kept your cup shut for once in your life, then none of us would have got done, would we? Oh, whatever, Candice, cos you weren't going to keep it up for long. So don't make out it was my fault, all right, cos I tried to warn you. Oh, wait, like you're some little angel or something. Oi! I don't want my clothes back. Oh, fine, I just hope they were worth it. 